Hello guys, we are live from Paris in the Cubewise TM1 and Planning Analytics Conference. My name is Ulash and I'm here with uh, Hisham from Agnesio and we are going to talk about his experience in our conference and a little bit about the data science and its links to the uh, planning process. Thanks so much. Um, you. Thank you for being here, Hisham. Thank you for having me. Um, well, tell us what you discovered uh, in our conference, your experience, what did you uh, expect and what did you get from the conference? It's uh, funny that you ask that question because I was talking to my other colleagues about that uh, earlier today. Uh, one of the things that, that really uh, jumped out was um, I see a lot of companies uh, who have uh, invested, let's say, from a technology perspective and also from a talent perspective. So talented people and, and, and good tools, if you will, good technology. However, what you see is, is they haven't uh, really thought through, let's say, the impact on, on the process. Yeah. So uh, what I would like to call, let's say, the business decision-making process, if you will, that, that necessarily uh, matches with, with the, the technology advancements that have been made so far. So I would say that's a very, very learning, but a very, uh, very good learning. Uh, in addition, uh, I, I've attended uh, Ben's uh, session on uh, Excel uh, uh, versus TM1. Yeah. Actually, actually uh, the session was about uh, how do you explain TM1 to your, uh, I think on a birthday or <laughs> to your colleagues? Uh, anyways, I guess I would like to stay away as much as possible from those kind of conversations because easily get drawn into a uh, feature versus feature uh, conversation. While I think that where TM1 comes into play is, uh, is more of an enterprise planning approach from a business value right. uh, angle. So uh, imagine this world where you have a lot of companies, of course, are struggling with this. I have a lot of planners in place. Uh, each responsible for own, their own respective business segment. How do you make sure that this all uh, works together, you know, and, and works against one plan and, and one strategy? I don't think necessarily uh, that that's a tool feature. It's more of an enterprise capability, and that comes automatically with uh, with with TM1. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess you also have done a lot of uh, project with us, right? Um, and you did uh, combine the uh, data science into the planning process. Can you a little bit maybe elaborate um, what is the added value to the companies who are seeking for such process, right? Um, the data, data science, uh, what does it mean for them? How, how can they benefit from it in their day-to-day uh, -day planning activities? Well, uh, yes, uh, we have been uh, doing a lot of projects together. Uh, from an Agnesio standpoint, uh, uh, we, we, of course, focus a lot on, on business analytics, data science, and, 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 and most important, uh, data strategy. Uh, now, where these two worlds uh, come together and, and where they bring a lot of business value is, uh, is, is of course, uh, the, the answer is, 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 is uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, added value that, that I can talk about, but I think most, most and more importantly is uh, the, 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 the new world, right? So marketplace dynamics, as I call it, right? In the old world, if I can call it like that, uh, you just looked internally at your historical performance, right? And you would have some kind of enterprise target, and then you would plan for that. Yeah. yeah and it would become a self-fulfilling prophecy at a certain moment. I would say uh, today there's so much more data data points out there in order to understand what's going on with your consumer with your marketplace uh, so what you see is in order to leverage those vo that volume of, of data but also the different types of data you really need another type of consumption which is not necessarily a reporting type of consumption but really uh, uh, math machine learning uh, capabilities to understand or, or understand uh, identify the patterns and the trends going on in, in that marketplace. Yeah, and how do you think they can choose the right data? So you talked about they leveraging the data, right? So are you talking about internal data, external data? 
Well, yes. So as I mentioned before, right, a lot of companies are very internally focused, uh, focus on their ERP system, mm -hmm. their data warehouse, right? Uh, where if you really want to understand your consumer, you actually need to look outside of your, or also outside of your, uh, your internal uh, systems. So that can be consumer insights, it can be macroeconomical information, it can be in certain cases even weather, right? So uh, there's a lot of consumer profiles out there, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, and, but there's also a lot of factors uh, uh, where, where that consumer actually moves, right? So obviously if the economy goes well in a certain uh, region of the world, of course it impacts your, your performance as well, right? Yeah, and how do you choose what's the ri right data for, for the client, um, right? Which data is relevant for them? How do you define those? I, I like that question very much. Uh, so if you look at our uh, uh, solution, demand signal analytics, and uh, demand driven planning, it's, uh, it's threefold, right? So uh, yes, technology is important and it's a backbone of our uh, yeah. methodology, but we start with data strategy first. So together with the respective or the company's uh, subject matter experts, we identify a vision and a mission statement that supports that vision. You uh, mean the subject matter experts from your organization or from? Uh, no, we try to leverage the, the, the client's subject matter experts, right? So there's a lot of expertise and knowledge out there. We need to respect that, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and we capture that. And, and that way we try to understand what drives their, uh, uh, their respective business, yeah. right? What drivers. And of course we do a sense check. Uh, so um, uh, the hypotheses, we, we sense, check that, sense check that through data and math. But uh, I can state by experience that uh, people ha are pretty knowledgeable and experienced about their, uh, their business. Yeah. So we, of course there's a sense check uh, uh, there as well. And then w that's the moment when once we understand that, that's what we translate into a solution. So it's a collect collective work between you and the customer. Right? Absolutely. It's not you coming with a process and, and educating them or adjusting their process to yours. It's literally mapping it out together with them. Uh, yes, that's we. Ha that's how we uh, actually conduct all our projects, right? So we're in it together, right? So we respect. Yes, we bring external knowledge and expertise, mostly technology expertise, right? Uh, but the actual uh, uh, business uh, knowledge has to come from our uh, respective clients. Yeah. Okay. Um, in terms of uh, a technology preference, uh, is there any specific? Uh, technology that you're actually uh, recommending or are you technology agnostic? Well that answer is also a little bit twofold in the sense that uh, so uh, from a planning perspective it's very clear for us right so uh, TM1 uh, gives us a lot of flexibility to create that user interface and, and models that uh, that allows us to really take advantage of the whole methodology. Now from a data science perspective we are pretty tool agnostic or technology agnostic but of course, uh, we do have our preferences as well. Yeah, okay. So uh, I guess you've been attending to many of our um, sessions uh, yesterday and today. Um, what do you think about uh, the overall conference? How was your experience? I mean, what, what would you recommend in overall uh, what we could do differently uh, next year or mm -hmm. what we could do better? Well, let me first start off by always saying that it's always a pleasure to be here. I think you guys organize uh, great conferences. It, there's a lot of energy, people are really into, into the details and, and, and really want to come and learn, right? I think you guys do a great job there. Thank now, you. if you ask me, uh, uh, you know, what, what do I recommend? You know, I have to, if I have to call out one thing, I would say add a day or half a day with more of a data strategy agenda. I, I think that that would uh, create a lot of value as well. Yeah, all right. Points taken. Thank you. Um, so, I guess the other thing we can talk about is what should the TM1 community uh, do you think should look out for? Like, what is missing from your point of view? Uh, so, I wouldn't necessarily say it's missing, but uh, I, I think we do need to embrace that whole uh, world of more data, more math. Uh, and, 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 and other capabilities to understand what's going out out there uh, to inform the plan, right? To inform our, our plans. And, and, and TM1 is a great tool for planning, right? It's, 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 it's fantastic. It's, uh, it, it's proven itself uh, many times. Uh, but I think in order to uh, deal with uh, the struggles that uh, a lot of 
planning companies, but also uh, planning departments in companies are dealing with is, of course, the, the windows that they have to actually create plans. Mm -hmm. So the more augmentation or automation that we can bring there through data and science, the better they can focus on uh, what I like to call the art of planning, right? Uh, so less, less planning, more insights, th that's, that's something we need to embrace as a community, I guess. And I think we're doing an excellent job in, 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 in really scratching the surface of the possibilities. I know we do, we're, do, we're doing and we have done some, uh, some great projects in, in that sense. But you and I know both that there's a lot of opportunity out there for, uh, for a lot of companies. Yeah. And I guess a lot of companies hesitate whether they're ready to do it uh, or not, right? So what's your opinion on this? Yeah, that's an interesting question as well, right? So uh, I, I have a struggle understanding uh, uh, that hesitance because I, I think it's a, it's a traditional view on, 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 on the topic. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have that uh, classical foundation in order to leverage uh, data science. Right? Yeah. It's just another type of consumption. And uh, yeah, I would, uh, I would love that uh, a lot of more people, money managers would understand that. Yeah. And what do you think, from your point of view, if you consider a company is ready to to uh, get into this journey, like what are the key aspects to consider? Well, of course, there's always this uh, benefit uh, exercise you need, need to do. Uh, I, I would say uh, if, you, if your marketplace is very complex, if you have a lot of folks involved in, in planning as an organization, that's where uh, for me it's uh, the, the, yeah, the opportunity is. Obviously, if, 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 if that's not the case, then yeah. you need to yeah, decide whether uh, having that manual process in place today makes more sense. All right. Well, um, thanks a lot, Isha. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Um, thanks for being here. Thank you so much. It was great to uh, chat with you. Yeah. Um, thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching us. Um, and please stay tuned you know, on our YouTube channel. Um, we'll be broadcasting. Uh, today. So yeah, thanks for watching us. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.